web security a uh, common question that uh, most people would want to know mm. they ask is about web security how do i protect myself online how do i how do i not get hacked and there's uh, a lot of misunderstanding about this whole business of hacking and uh, uh, the only thing that you need to know about hacking is one and online security is one that no one can hack you without your permission that is no one that can hack you without your your permission most people we have this thing that we think about an hacker as a person who, who is able to inflict uh, to infiltrate your your phone or your ganjex someone who can get your 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 facebook password or your gmail and it's something that i've also uh, received requests people asking me to help them hack maybe most tricks written with the love someone's gmail or uh, facebook for pay and this is a, a great common misperception uh, uh, mostly no one can hack you without your permission that's basically the only thing that you need to, to, to know i will explain but if that's the case now how does hacking work if you can understand how hacking works then you can understand how to protect yourself mostly Hacking, although there are things like preaching, there are things like mirroring, Google sex and all that, mostly hacking happens through something called, uh, called social engineering. That is, social engineering is what hackers uh, use to, to find your password. And that's all, they use social engineering. That is, they use social engineering to find your, your password. So how do you protect yourself? The first thing is uh, when you when you use a public uh, computer or something like that for example on gmail if you log on gmail on a public computer you may you may sign out but your account remains there and even most people forget to sign out so you have exposed your person the second thing is also social engineering works is that most people can tell you that uh, over, over let's say to be fair over 70 percent of people if you need to guess, the, either they use their, their sister's name as their, their password, their ID, their combination of their IDs, of their dates of birth, uh, or their parents, something, or siblings. So what an hacker does through social engineering is what they do is figure out those. And then number three is that once you figure out uh, a person's password, most people, they use the same password on Facebook, on Gmail, on on twitter on instagram and even on, on on money services even on atm or debit card so basically that one you have exposed to your, your person and not find this person what hackers do how they search engineer is that if for example they find uh, your your gmail password or you left your, your gmail account opened and now what they need is access to your phone for, 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 for a few seconds. They don't even need your phone. What they need is to go on Facebook. Or if, let's say, their interest is on Facebook, they can change. They go, they change, they go to forgotten person, they change your person, they have access to Gmail, so they change the person there, and boom, they have gotten your person. So basically, although there are advanced techniques, mostly hacking is about social engineering. Or even if it's not social engineering, it also works on uh, inserting code on your phone. That is also you need your permission. And so on the on the last, I hope um, this is not too much information. On the last part, basically you need to protect your phone, and uh, and that is the apps, the apps that you install your your phone. Some of those apps or some of these things that people click on your on on phones. These things are the ones which uh, inflate your phone and, and steal your data. So basically, you have to take care of that. Basically, quickly, on this now, you have to check on the apps that, and again, I'm sorry if this is too much information, I'll be happy to clarify with time, is that you need to, to check how you install your, your, your apps. Basically, when you are installing apps, you need to ensure three things to ensure that it's the rigid app. If, for example, an app like Instagram, you find that like, there are many, many versions. One, to, to find uh, a rigid uh, app that is to install on, on your phone so that you can you can guard yourself from being infrequent is that you check the views most good good apps 
that is the downloads they have over 10 million downloads the number two is that you need to check the ratings and number three is that you need to check the reviews okay, that is the thing that you need to clarify here but now you are saying if you check what goes in your phone and so basically to protect yourself to be an act is that to protect your password Re don't use the same password for for retain pesa for facebook change persons and uh, now if you're taking off smartphones you don't have to have a notebook where you can write persons uh, and render as a service of uh, of generating persons use that person generator and, and uh, save it there they, that will help you have unique persons and that way that way you have to be protected so for anyone who, who cares the only way to protect yourself from from being out is to protect your person because what we are saying is that no one can hack you without your permission you have to allow me to hack you my name is Linus for more on this you can contact me at askkipaji at gmail.com and uh, we keep on engaging about this thank you